lovelies. So this is something that I haven't actually thought about. Well, I've thought about doing it, but I've never actually thought about it like in the moment. But this is really hard to do. Okay. Um, so what I'm doing is t all today. The two things that I've done are uh, change the sheets on my bed. And I took a shower. I just got out of the shower and I put my pajamas on. <sighs> okay, so what I've been wanting to do is catch myself after I do those things. Generally, I just fall into bed and feel like complete crap and I don't think to film myself, but I'm going to now and try to explain how I feel, what I'm going through, because a lot of people don't understand how I look fine and can some days go out and do things but then other days I claim to be stuck in bed um, okay so right now if you would ask me about how much how hot it is it's good this is gonna be a hard video because when this is happening to me my um, brain is all over the place not in a good way like scrambled so I'm going to try my hardest to put these into thoughts that are coherent. Um, in my room, it feels to be about, I don't know, 500 degrees. Um, even though I just got out of cold shower, lukewarm shower, not cold shower. I'm not like an athlete or something, but I was feeling overheated, so I took a cooler shower. Um, I am sweating like all over my face is all sweaty um, I am shaking which is just gonna get worse once I take my inhaler because um, I am having trouble breathing um, I have a lot of anxiety because then I get worried and um, I just try to because when I do something like that, I have to pull everything that's off of my bed off somewhere and then like I see it and I want to put it back in its place and put it away and clean it up. But I have to like choose what I want to do. Also, when I was in the shower, this might be a little TMI. It's not crazy TMI, but, um, but I got to, this was the number one thing, shave my underarms, which are sweating right now. Um, but I did just kind of try to do my legs and not really, so that's making me, because I have OCD, there's like no doubt about it. So when I put my pajama bottoms on, I can feel it and I just want to go back in and shave my legs, but I can't. Um... I'm also emotional and when I'm like this it makes me more emotional um, because my best friend's in town and I was gonna go to this fun dinner tonight and I'm not able to and um, I'll top it off with the worst one out of them um, then also today my computer part was hopefully gonna come in and I was really like putting a lot of weight on that and it didn't so that means that at the soonest it would be Monday so I have to go the weekend without my computer um, then Bella has been having some issues nothing major but something that she has to go into the vet for and I don't like that and I don't like that she has to go the whole weekend and not get care so I'm very worried about her and it just I mean these are not major things but when you're like under the stress of your own body it just takes down the walls that you have set up to keep yourself from for instance crying when your cat when your dog has a minor issue um, or you don't have a computer for the weekend. You just lose those things inside your brain that tell you, like, this isn't that big of a deal. That's going to be okay. It's just a couple more days. You know, Bella's going to be fine. She's fine. She's not, like, in huge distress. But when your body is this stressed, 
it has to go to the core things that it's worked up about and your brain is sending it to core things that don't even exist that don't need to be addressed but for some reason your brain chemistry tells you tells them it needs to be addressed so I just wanted to catch this in the moment and um, second thing is I'm putting together a video Come here. Come say hi to everybody. Sorry about that. She was just about to try to jump off my bed. And my bed is very high. So um, even I use kind of like a little step thing to get on it. So a little dog's not supposed to jump off of there. But she wanted to come over here. Um, I'm putting together a video once I get my computer that I can edit together. And it's some of the biggest stigmas or... The way I put it to people that I asked were, what are, if you didn't know me, what are some of kind of like the biggest stereotypical, stereotypical things that you think about people with fibro? Like, for instance, obese, um, uneducated, lazy, like some of the big, like obvious ones that we get. And um, I wanted to kind of go through those and... Um, well, for me, a lot of them, I can just go back to when I was diagnosed and I will show you what I'll do with them. So if you want to list any of the things that you have kind of um, been put up against, that kind of your friends are like, oh, you know, she's just over exaggerating or what have you, um, just put those in the comments down below and I am going to go rest. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. Sending out X double O's. We both are. And I'm sending them out too. Because I'm... And she just got me right in the mouth with that little tongue. So I just wanted to French kiss you, Mom. And we'll hopefully talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Are you too tired for this? Okay. Bye.